there, this is Sue from Sue's Paper Creations and today I want to share with you another exciting video for our new stamp positioning tool, the Stamparatus. So tonight what we're going to be working on is actually four step stamping. So I was telling you that um, the Stamparatus is very unique positioning tool. It has some features in it that definitely put it um, way up and above a all the other positioning tools on the market and one of those is the fact that it actually has two hinged panels rather than one and these hinged panels are not fixed they are actually um, removable and so therefore you can switch them around and you can have four different surfaces to actually place your stamps on so people might say, well, why would you need that? So I am going to show you today how you can take this card here and instead of having to worry about the positioning of each and every stamp, um, it'll be a quick and easy way for you to be able to position these birds and stamp them really quickly and easily without you know, having to redo it over and over again to get it perfect, okay? And then, once you have all these birds in the balloon on the plates, you can make as many of these as you want, and each time it'll turn out exactly the same, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna put my card aside. Um, we are going to be using the very cute and adorable bird banter. Again, I love this new stamp set that's coming out in the occasions catalog so it will be available January 3rd along with all of our celebration items. I'm going to put that aside for right now and I am going to get started with the stamping. So for this card we are using photopolymer stamps so therefore you want to have your foam mat in place. So the Stamparatus comes with just your plain base here and if you're using the photopolymer then you want to add this foam mat that it comes with and we have got our two magnets ready to position our paper. Okay. So I have got a piece of paper that is two and three quarters by five and a half and I'm going to go ahead and just place that in the center of my base. I am going to put one magnet just along the edge of the bottom and then I'm going to put this magnet just along the side of the top there. So that's going to hold my paper in place as I'm doing this um, stamping. Okay. So the first thing we want to do to get started is we want to take our first bird and we want to put this adorable little toucan in the place where we would like it to go just like that. I am going to get out my Memento ink and the reason why I'm using this is because I am going to be coloring all these birds with our new Stampin' Blends which are alcohol based marker and you want um, you don't want the um, lines to bleed at all. Okay so that's why I'm using that ink. Once I have my bird in place I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick it up with my um, side plate here and I had just finished making this card so there's a little bit of ink on there but that's okay because this is going down exactly in the same spot. I'm going to pop it down and I'm going to give it a little press and there is our first bird. Okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this plate out I'm going to rotate it around and I'm going to pop it back in. I am going to bring in our next adorable little bird. I think this is like a little budgie. And I'm going to place it on top of that toucan's head. We're stacking them up. I'm going to put it exactly where I want it. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close it again. So because we have rotated the plate around, we have a brand new um, surface to add that second step to. I'm going to put the ink on. I'm going to bring it down, I'm going to press it, and there is our second bird. Oh, its little feet didn't quite go, so that's okay, because it's on the Stamparatus here. I can add a little bit more ink, press it down, and there we have those little feet added on there. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my third little bird. This time I'm going to make sure his feet are a little bit closer. There we go. Perfect, and I'm going to pile him on top of that one's head. I'm going to now, our second place, our plate here is coming into play. So I am going to lift that bird up. I am going to ink him up with the memento. 
sorry about the shadows. I'm doing this kind of late at night with, um, I was hoping enough light not to have shadows. I hope they're not too bad. There we go. I'm going to stamp my third bird. There it is there. Isn't that cute? Now I want a balloon to be coming out or this top little bird to be kind of hanging onto this balloon with its beak. So I'm going to put, place that balloon down so that the string of the balloon just kind of goes over top of his beak there. I'm going to take this upper panel. We're going to pull it out. We're going to rotate it around and that's going to give us our fourth surface to come down, pick up that balloon, and now we're going to ink it. We're going to drop down there. We're going to ink it up with our memento and we are going to press it in just like that. Oh, you know what? I didn't quite get enough ink on the top there, but that's okay because again, we're using the Stamparatus. So we can just drop down and add that extra bit of ink if we need to. So there we have it. There is all three birds stacked with the balloon. It is ready to go. Now, what I want to do is I'm just gonna bring in a scrap piece of paper here because I want to show you how quick and easy it is if you're going to do a second one. All your birds are all ready to go. So I wanna show you that once you have everybody in place, now all you have to do is Let's flip it back to the original little toucan here. We just have to ink it up. Actually, I didn't quite get that little tail feathers. Press it down, just like that. There's one. We're gonna flip it around. We're gonna now ink up that second little bird, the budgie that goes on his head. There it is there, there's number two. Now we're gonna take our top plate here. We're gonna rotate it around to our third bird. And see how easy this is? So this is a little um, thank you card that I'm making. And I wanna be able to make, I just gotta release that, rotate it around. I want to be able to make several of these, or if you're doing a birthday card, you wanna be able to make several of these and have some on hand. Once you set it up once, you are ready to go to do it multiple times. So see how quick and easy that is? And with the different plates and the positioning, you can actually drop down your stamps where you want them. It makes for easy and clear lining up. And again, if something doesn't turn out, if there's some little voids in there, all you have to do is add a little ink and just drop it down and stamp it again because it's in the exact same spot. So the Stamparatus, is an amazing, amazing tool for every level of stamping. If you're nervous about being able to stamp something perfectly, you don't have to worry about it. If it doesn't turn out perfect, if you're just doing even a single image and it doesn't turn out perfect the first time, there's some voids in it, add a little bit more ink and stamp it again. It's perfect for that. And to more advanced, when you wanna get into doing this sort of laying out of cards, it makes it, quick and easy and simple for everyone. So that is the technique I wanted to share with you. So that is just using all four plates, four steps of stamping there, really quick and easy to do. Add a little bit of color, color, color those guys up. And this one actually was a birthday one that I did. A little birdie told me it was your birthday. I have added some new papers. This is a new paper pack that's coming out in January. And it is the Picture Perfect um, paper stack. And I love it. It has got the most amazing photo images on one side. And then on the other, you have got all of these really cool patterns that you can play around with. So this is the stripes we used, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you have not already reserved your stamp radish, you're gonna to wanna to do that before the end of the month so you can get one early. Another promotion that I have got going on right now is a bundle up for the holidays. So this is just a personal promotion that I have got for all of my customers. 
anyone who wants to purchase any of the current bundles that are in any of the catalogs and you want to go ahead pitch, um, either contact me if you're local uh, if you want to just place it online you can do that as well this is my online online um, current host code so you want to pop that in under host code on your checkout page and I will get notification of your order and what we will do is I will contact you and I will find out whether you want a free package of rhinestones, faceted pearls, or, or, or sorry, faceted uh, pearls or the faceted gems popped in the mail. So that is my freebie for you. It's just a little extra thank you for placing those orders through me. Um, and some of the bundles are actually retiring. So that's another thing, retired items will be gone December 31st. So hop on over, check those out as well. Okay, so uh, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your evening, and I will be back again with another technique for you. We'll see you soon. Thanks for dropping in.